single lady come on out hello hello welcome in what's your name kalabi kalabi how old are you i am in my 30s i'm 34 34 <laughs> did you want to say your age <laughs> and what do you do i'm a photographer okay um i have a business and i teach it at a high school as well nice all right and what do you look for in a guy <sighs> um it's a lot. It's a lot behind that. But, okay. you know, we'll take it a step at a time. Mm -hmm. But nothing too crazy. You know, somebody that's cool, down to earth, um, has a plan, um, willing to build and grow. All right. Cool. Pretty much. All right. So, yeah. I guess we'll stop it for a second. She's a photographer and she does a lot, she says. Hmm. Uh, yes, the Tim's. Yeah, there you go, uh, Daniel. Them Tim's, man, them shoes. I don't know. I don't want to rest. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to rest on that. But something about them boots throwing me off. Like, them is very masculine shoes. Whole butter Timberlands. Uh, I don't know. I'm all for, hey, I'm all for fashion and all that, but I don't know. Boots. That's that's thuggish. <laughs> so this is her. Leggings. This is her Instagram here. You know, she's 34 years old, almost 40. All right. She up here. It was at uh, Desi I'm Banks. Desi. I'm Desi Banks. She's a, she a photographer. She got Kyla Murray and, you know, I don't know who this is. So she's around these celebrities as we, as we can see here. Modern, a modern mercenary, most likely. She got a whole throat tattoo. Uh, none serious, none to take seriously, unfortunately. <laughs> and she, she a little long in the tooth, huh? They saying she was, uh, she was reluctant to share her age. What's her age? 34? Yeah, 34. Oh, you 34, you reaching toes, 40. That is See my man game up here. Yeah, her industry, like you say, she competing like with 21 year old. Hey, hey, yeah, hell no. You got these women out here, like you said, she in here with these taking photos for game, and you got 21, 20 year old women in that same club that she's competing with. So that's where a lot of the arrested development comes from. Competition is going to breed a arrested development. Ain't no way in heck. Short time, not a long time at best. You see what a TI is. <laughs> So, yeah, mm -hmm. this is her, 34. It's hard to tell. A lot of these are just photos of other people that she taken. So I'm trying to see. But long story short, my man Game up in there. I'm sure he done clash meets. No problem. You taking photos. Them guys say, I see you and I like you. They turn into Fleece Johnson. I like you and I want you. All right. And, and understand, ladies, understand something us men understand. Because we men. And we understand wolves that are brothers like uh Slim Slim, what's his name? Not Slim Thug. Yeah, Slim Thug and the game. These are wolves. They ain't just out there playing a joke and they know the rules. We ain't friends. All right. I like Gavin said, I like the, what you're doing after this. And understand something. It is in these ladies, for these photographers and bottle girls, it's in their best interest not to turn these guys off or offend them. So they're going to be like, you know, what you doing? I'll be there. I'll show up. I'll come through for a little bit, make it sound innocent. It ain't never innocent. <laughs> so here we go. She's a celebrity photographer. Hit the like button. So um, what do you like to do for fun? For fun, I'm a big kid, so I like to do stuff like, I don't know, anything. Go car racing, traveling, um, just random things. Mm -hmm. I'm very open to trying new things. So mm -hmm. that's kind of my thing this year. Okay. Trying new things. Cool. So All right. anything fun. <laughs> so we did get a uh, balloon popped over here. Let's go ahead and go on over there and okay. see what's going on. Here. All right. If we can have your name, how old you are, and why you ended up popping your balloon. I'm Isaac. I'm 27. I popped my balloon because I think we're in two different spaces in our lives. I'm 27, she's 34. I don't know if realistically I'd probably be able to take care of her. I don't know. Too old for me. So. And now, um, is he your type? Is, if he were to approach you, is that something you'd go for? 
Well, <clears throat> so far I only know that he said he's 27. It really de excuse me, it depends on what he does uh, for a living. And like I said, his plan mm -hmm. as far as, you know, goals and things that he's, uh, I would kind of go off of that. I, I wouldn't just go off of just his age. Okay. okay. Yeah. And then what about for looks? Like, do you, is that something that matters to you in any way? It does, but it doesn't. It's not the first thing that I go for, but it definitely matters. I do have to be attracted to you. Got it. Okay. And are you attracted to him? The thing is, people grow on me, too, mm. so that's another thing I wanted to say. I don't, you know, necessarily go off looks right off the bat mm. all the time. Um, but for him, I think he's attractive. I think he's a handsome. I like his, his skin tone. Yeah, chocolate. Chocolate's always good. So. <laughs> okay. All right, cool. Thank you. All right, so we do still have quite a few balloons left unpopped. I'm going to go ahead and hand this over to you. Did you have a question that you wanted to ask over to the guys to help you narrow it down for yourself? Let's go ahead and move back here. Um, as far as like what they like and what they don't like? or Whatever question you have okay. in mind. Uh, what is, do, do any of you want children or have children already? Okay, let's go ahead and start right on over here. If we have your name, how old you are, and her answer to your question. My name is Terrence, I'm 34, and I'm from Alabama. And where are you from? Arizona. Oh, okay. And uh, I want kids. I want, I want at least about three, and I don't have none yet. I want to wait till I get married. Okay. okay. My name is Ishmael, and I'm 29, and uh, yeah, I have a seven-year-old daughter. Do you, how you, feel? Like, you, you don't have any kids? I don't. Okay, okay. But yeah, I got a seven-year-old daughter. My name is Chris Davion. I'm 24, 10 years younger. Uh, I don't have kids. I do want kids in the future. Okay. My name is Ja. I'm 31, and of course I want kids. Ideally, like like three, two or three. Do you have any currently? None. Okay. <laughs> My name is Keith. I'm about to be 30 next week, and I do have a son. He's two years old. Do you want more? Yeah. You don't seem to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that a yes? Yeah, that's a yes. Okay. That's a yes. That's a yes. Right. Okay. <laughs> it, 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 it depends on the mindset, though. You okay. know what I mean? Because you just can't have kids with everybody. Mm -hmm. you know what I mean, you got to find that right one. Fair enough. I like that response. Okay. okay. Daryl, 33, and I got two. Okay, period. <laughs> All right, now, are kids a deal breaker for you or? No. No? Okay. All right. So based off of those responses that you got from the guys, which one balloon did you want to go ahead and pop? Let me back up so you can see all of them. Anyone? <laughs> all right. So now, um, as far as... For the guys left, do you want me to go ahead and ask a question for you to help you narrow it down, or did uh, you have another yeah. one? You can ask one. Okay, all right, cool. So um, as far as what would your family say is three words, actually let's do that. What are three words that your family would use to describe you? Loving, caring, and always smile, well, smiling. smiling. Uh, happy, always energetic, nice. energetic. Loving and caring. Okay. <laughs> uh, I would have to say chain breaker, uh, loving for Charlie, and uh, responsible. And you know what? They're going to jump into all these hoops. Sister, if you don't pop Terrence's balloon and quit, quit dangling that meat in front of him like he got a chance. Oh, Terrence, you're a good dude. You're a good brother. You need to stop trying to say that. We know that. You know, he going to say, my family say, I'm nice, I'm kind, I'm loving, always smiling. If you ain't eight foot tall, bench pressing 900 pounds, ain't no woman trying to really hear that. She really not. I, I can assure you, it's unfortunate. It may be true. And it may not be nothing wrong with that. But in this vicious day market, don't be up here so nice. That's the whole thing. That's the whole saying. Are uh, you friendly? Being friendly is not okay. Can I answer it and ask a question too? Is that okay? What question? 
Can I answer and then ask a question too? Answer cool. first, then we'll, All right. we'll see if she's um, interested in you asking. Right, right. I would say like a reliable, um, very like authentic and unique would be conversations. Um, what about you though? Like, what's what's communication to you? Communication to me. Communication is key. It's real important. So it's like an overall communication can go a long way. So it's not just verbal, mm -hmm. you know. Um, in other words, it's, it's uh, like I said, I don't know, everything. So it's important. It, it's very important. Right. Like I said, I think it's key. Okay. All right. That's it. Yeah. Thank you. Three words. All right. So ask the question again. Describe what are three words that your family would use to describe you? My family. Mm -hmm. would, okay, that's very, maybe respectful, honorable, and very humble. Mm -hmm. you know? I would like to know about that. You know I, mean? I would like to know if Earthy. that relates to you. Yeah, you know I mean? that relates to you. It was respectful, honorable, and what was the other one? No, nah, like, if what would your three be? Oh, for myself? Yeah. Okay, that's that's a question that people do ask other people, but they don't really relate to that type of question. Like they don't have a three, and I would like to know that about you. Okay, I have more than three, but since we name in three, yeah. I would say my top three would be responsible, um, ambitious, and hard worker, for sure. Okay, yeah, I definitely like that. Shout out to this brother, man. He coming off. He got his jacket on. He up here looking like the fifth member of um, Pretty Ricky. Uh, hey. <laughs> <I do. laughs> yeah, listen uh, here. Ain't none of us over here fashionistas. But I got to say, because y'all say, now I was going to leave it alone. But yeah, the different color whites he got on that. He got a cream leather top, you know, uh, stark white pants. Look like some some mildly worn Air Forces with black socks. Very wonky and weird. Again, shout out to my mom. <laughs> yeah. Listen here. Learn how to dress. A lot of us from the hood. No, don't be ashamed. But you should because Google is only a couple clicks away. You can simply Google what colors go together. Does, does cream go with white? And in what combination? You can, if you got a freaking question, you can Google it. Lord knows I would do. It's easy. Yeah, that's the contrast is good. You know, he got on straight black and white. Everything black or white. <laughs> there we go. So. <laughs> Daryl, hold on. What, are saying? <laughs> <laughs> what are those three words that your family will use to describe you? I'm used to saying my name and all that first. Uh, <laughs> there are three things that probably be they be uh, understanding. Caring and uh, responsible. Okay. Okay. All right. So, based off of those responses, I'm going to go ahead and have you pop one guy's balloon. <laughs> God, mm -hmm. no. All right. So, why do we end up popping Terrence's? I popped his balloon. Not because I didn't like his response, just because I simply had to pick someone, and I picked you because you're the shortest one. Oh, no ish. Terrence, Terrence needs to start filling his balloons up with hot water, and when they come, hold it out. Put it out, be like, here. And they go mm -hmm. pop, pop go right in their face. Pop it. Go ahead, pop it. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I fill it with duty water. How about that? <laughs> All bad, Paul man. So. Poor Terrence. Listen here. That's why I, I'm not on that whole, oh, don't body shame. I couldn't imagine. Let's step outside ourselves. I could not imagine being a shorter brother have to deal with this kind of criticism. That ish got to hurt. It has to. That's body shame. And Terrence can't do nothing about his height. Y'all keep disqualifying because of his height. Shame on y'all. Body shaming 24-7. To be honest, we the same height. Let me see. Are we the same height? I think you're a little bit taller. Disrespect. Yeah. Okay. I'm thinking about Christmas pictures. Head butter. You know, 
We could have been wearing matching pajamas. <laughs> we could have used pedal stools, but you I know. I could have had I, on some tail. <laughs> or that. Platform shoes. <laughs> but you know, I had to pick somebody, so that's why I chose you. Okay. Thank you. I'm here for it. God bless you, sister. Give it to him. Terrence deserves that. You want to keep sitting there? Oh, you gorgeous. I can see us with matching Christmas suits and matching Timberland boots. And she like, I'm going to get you some stilts. She walked up on you and did the height check on you like y'all in middle school, man. Terrence should have tripped and accidentally headbutted her on purpose. Why, y'all? Well, I'm sorry, beautiful. You so beautiful. I didn't mean to headbutt No, Terrence you know. got to eat that. Terrence got to eat that. I don't feel bad for Terrence. You want to sit there and play, she'll start keep moving. You inviting yourself to this. You ain't headbutt nobody. You got to eat this. <laughs> he, he up here tell you right. He up here we could wear matching pajamas. Listen here, man. Terrence, that ain't your lane. All right? Now, listen here. I got a couple pictures with matching pajamas with my family. I can do it. I was a married man. Terrence, that ain't your lane, brother. You, you, That ain't your, that's not a good look. You got to stand on business. Have some self-awareness. You can't be, don't be offering that. We could wear matching pajamas. That comes off too soft. The The goal is to be kind, not nice. I'm kind, but I ain't, I ain't nice. <laughs> this is bad, man. Here we go. Hit the like button. Okay. All right, cool. And now, guys, do you guys have any question you want to ask her to kind of decide if she's a yes for you? What's more important to you, uh, money or personality? <laughs> personality. I like that. I like that. I and that, and that's, that was that was a struggle because okay. obviously I don't want to be broke. No, nah, I mean I was talking. You know, personality. Your personality good to bag there, but I see your hat though. L.A. You happen to where you from? I'm from Phoenix. Oh, you from Phoenix? Mm -hmm. okay. I have family from L.A. though. I'm so. from Cali, so born and raised. That's why. Okay. I, but yeah, Period. I like that. I like that. Okay. Ooh. And now I'm gonna go ahead and have you pop another guy's balloon. Oh, okay. I didn't. I, I said everybody have questions. Y'all didn't raise your hand over here. No, we weren't. No, we weren't. You know what I mean, I got a thousand questions, but I don't know what to go off of first. I don't know if I want to see if like what is your definition of what love really is, or if you're a modern or traditional woman. Okay. I feel like everyone's you know, perspective as far as what love is to them is different. You know, I feel like it has yeah, a lot right. to do with how you were raised, how you grew up, because um, I feel like it molds us low key. Um, and it kind of, having, having a, whether or not if you had a, a dad in your life, a mother in your life, depending on if you're, you know, a man or woman. If you're a woman, you know, I feel like if whether or not if you had your dad in your life or not, that'll determine how you date in the future and vice versa. Um, what was the question initially? I'm sorry. Are you traditional or modern woman? Mm -hmm. Modern. I have tra traditional ways um, based off of how I was raised. You know, there's a lot of things that I took from my mom, but there's a lot of things that I have my own ways. Um, in other words, I found my own niche in some areas, yeah, but I took the good stuff for sure. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I feel like each generation should do that. You know, it should be better. It should be a notch up, a step up. And I like that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Did you have a question? Yeah. Okay. I posed this wrong last time, but are you a clean person? I am a clean person. Okay. I'm a neat freak. For okay, sure. Cool. Not a neat freak. Let me, That's I'm not cool a neat though. freak. No, I'm not a neat freak. Right. I am just, um, I have OCD in some areas. Organized. Like, for example, I could be messy, but it's still going to be clean. Okay. And just an example, like I can clean my, clean my whole house, clean my whole room, right? Mm -hmm. But then when it's time to get dressed, I could have clothes right. everywhere, right. makeup still left there because gotcha. I don't just jetted out the house, mm -hmm. came back to a mess. Mm -hmm. But outside of that, yeah, I, I would say I'm very, I'm very clean. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know what? I want that to be my next question. Can I ask that? <laughs> Go for it, yes. So my next question is, are you guys, would you consider yourself clean? Like how your household, like uh, your house? Definitely. That's, that's very big for me. 
Uh, I'm very, like you said, I have OCD. I'm very like organized too. So not only like when I'm at my, especially like in my place, it's important to me to have like a clean space because it, it matters to like how my mood and how I'm thinking, like it's clarity. If it's a mess and shit all over the place, I can't, I can't even think. So okay. it's very big for me. And then organization too, like I, I take notes, I, I study different, like it's independent study. So organization is big for me. I got shit in certain areas, this go here, that go there. Not like hella like tripping about it, but you know, I kind of, I like, I like organization, you know, so. What about hygiene? Oh yeah, I'm big on that. Like I, I get monthly checkups. Like uh, big, big on hygiene. Like smell. Like you know, just taking daily showers. Like you know, I take care of myself very nice. So definitely, okay. women gotta be. You know. <laughs> um, no, I'm I'm definitely a, a very clean person. Uh, cleanliness is priority to me. I'm glad you brought up hygiene as well, and, and especially like sexual hygiene as well. That's all of that's very important. I, I want somebody who. If I bring him into my household or I go into theirs, I know that they have certain standards, you know, and like in the process, things might get messy, but as long as you have standards, you'll pretty much be very clean in my book. So, okay. yeah. And I like your fit too. I just want to say that. Ain't nobody said that. I dig Thank you. Yeah. I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> so here we go. Sister up here in the Thames, they dragging this out. Like, she know who she like at this point. She wants somebody to say how much money they in your bank account. That's Just say it, fellas. Get it over with. <laughs> he goes, stop. Yeah, that brother really got on white Air Forces with dirty shoestrings. Mr. Mr. Cream, off-white, and stark white. That's wicked work. And she got on these little baby Timberlands. Oh, they so cute. <laughs> <laughs> are you clean if you're talking about is you clean and i'm happy she corrected herself i'm so tired of people saying i'm a neat freak and i'm tired of people saying they got ocd as well obsessive compulsive disorder that means you you can't stop cleaning obsessive compulsive and a neat freak mean ain't nothing never out of out of place you ain't neither one of them you say you leave makeup and clothes everywhere stop i feel like as a man hygiene is very important no matter what it is, like I feel like you always supposed to stay clean. You're always supposed to have your, your the, those aspect of morals. Okay. Like yeah, you know I mean, you clean the inside of the cup, the outside of the cup is also also gonna be clean. Yeah, you know I mean, so always stay clean. Clean cleanliness and they say godliness is what they say, right? So you're okay. always supposed to be like that. <laughs> Uh, first thing first, I wash my ass, so, you know what I'm saying, that's the, you know what I'm saying, that's a must, uh, definitely clean, like I said, I got a son at the crib, so I gotta be on him, cause like I said, you know how boys is, they messy, so make sure the house is clean, everything like that, so, yeah. Okay. All right, cool, so I'm gonna have you pop two balloons based off of those responses you got. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and narrow it down. This is tough. I know. <laughs> mm -hmm. Another one. <laughs> All right, so was there any specific reason you picked those two? So I popped his balloon because I like to kiss. I'm a kisser. I'm a real big kisser. So lips is everything. I, I pay attention to that. Okay. So what's going on with his lip? A little, a little crusty. Ooh. Just a little bit. Mm. Just fiquito. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Just a little bit. Just a little crust. And then I popped his balloon because we getting close to the end, and yeah, I just had to narrow you down. Oh, I feel it. Okay. All right. So we do have our two guys left here. So I'm going to go ahead and ask the guys a question for you. So if you were to go ahead and take her out on a date, well, where would you take her? What would be your first date? Uh, to be honest, uh, it's like a rooftop. I'm big on like sunset type of views, but uh, it's a nice restaurant. I believe it's called like Pamela or something like that. They got like fi nice fire pits, and the food there is really nice. So. Uh, you know, type of vibe. <laughs> okay. Um, me, 
more or less so like some shoot some darts, play some pool, something like that. Go to arcade or something like that. Something we moving. Mm. Okay. All right. So based off of those responses, who are we going to narrow it down to? All right. And so why did you end up popping his balloon? I popped his because I liked your response. Um, it's just his seemed more like pre, pre-planned. If that makes sense, like it sounds like he would have a plan, like the day plan, know what to do. Hit me up, like, hey, are you free this day? I say yes. He got the day planned out already. You, you seem like a guy that'd be winging it. Mm. Not that I don't like that, because I like to be spontaneous sometimes. Um, but yeah, that's why I popped it. Well, that's understandable. What I'm saying, but we don't know each other yet. I can't just assume you like to go to rooftops and all that. Type of stuff. You know what I'm saying? I gotta figure. I gotta, I gotta figure that. I gotta figure that out. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna waste my time on a rooftop if she don't like rooftops. You know what I'm saying? I feel you. I get something like that. We can shoot dark. We can talk. We can mingle. You know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to be all. I tell you what, y'all all talking gibberish. Y'all should have looked at her Instagram before y'all come on here. Y'all will see that this woman is hanging out with the game and. Some of the stuff y'all talking about, y'all can't add up to those life experiences. So, huh? Huh? Y'all gonna be sitting there at some hole in the wall bar playing darts, and she gonna be like, "I was just on some rooftop pool party with game in them. This ain't doing nothing for me in my Timberland boots and my bucket hat. I, I'm, I'm gonna see myself out, though. Exactly, Mister X. <laughs> so here we go. This final guy. Let's see what they do. <laughs> Trying to be, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. First date with splurge and all that type of stuff, trying to make and trying okay. to impress you the first date, you know, so I'm trying to get to know you the first time. Okay. I like that. Fair enough. <laughs> well, I just all had right. to pick one. That's all. <laughs> Let's go right on over here. Ishmael, I'll have you come on out. <laughs> okay, so Ishmael, to go ahead and help you narrow this down, did you have any final questions for her? Uh I was curious. Uh your thing about kids, do you wanna have kids? I do. Okay, yeah, that's that's all that matters. Is it a yes for you for him? Yes. And is it a yes for you for her? Yes, definitely. We got a match! <laughs> I'll go ahead and take that. Thank, Thank you, you for coming on. I'll go ahead and let y'all go. Hey, go on up. So. After it's all said and done, we got one match. Um, good luck, brother. Uh, after this, he gonna go check her Instagram and be like, what? You see what you're up against. Ain't nothing serious about to come out of this. That whole question about her want kids, I feel like that was just some cap. This is this is me clashing opportunities. I'm sorry I'm not sorry. I ain't, I'm not getting long-term relationships out of this situation. Not, not out of this vibe. It, it wasn't doing it. Yeah. Kids, me clashing, whatever. 